Oil majors Exxon and Chevron both out with their earnings this morning. Jackie DeAngelis taking a look at energy with oil trading at its lowest level since mid-April as the U.S. ready sanctions against Iran. They're scheduled for this weekend, Jackie. Good morning to you, David. That's right. A lot going on in the oil patch right now. And it's been such a bloodbath when it comes to oil prices. An almost 16% drop over the course of the last 30 days. Today's session low is 62.99. That was a breach of 63, showing technically the momentum in this trade is certainly to the downside. Now, with oil in the low 60s, it's not that far from the 50s again. And when we were in the mid-70s, no one was predicting uh, that we could see a drop like that. So let's take a step back, because when the market sees volatility, energy stocks tend to take a double hit. The move with the market, then if oil prices drag, they take a second punch. The S&P energy sector is the worst performer over the last month with a decline of more than 10 percent. And no surprise that the ETFs have seen drops of 10 to 20 percent over the last month. Take a look at these. The XOP, the XLE, the OIH over the past 30 days, all red here. Now, things seem to be picking up a little bit this morning. The stock market responsive to the jobs report and a string of good earnings reports, including XLE. On Mobile and Chevron, but that doesn't mean that the bleeding in energy is over just yet. First, the Exxon and Chevron numbers, they're backward looking, and oil prices were substantially higher last quarter. Second, oil's decline just may not be over. This weekend marks that deadline for Iran sanctions, and it looks like oil was overbought on fear months ago. The reality seems to be that the sanctions may not upset the market as previously anticipated. It looks like more countries that do business with Iran will get the waivers they're looking for. On Wednesday, U.S. National Security Security advisor John Bolton said the Trump administration wants sanctions on Iran to strain Tehran, but doesn't want to harm the companies, uh, excuse me, the countries that depend on that oil. You can see right now we're trading by a quarter of a percent lower, 63.51 on WTI, Sarah.